about a mile into what I think is one of the greatest walks in the entire West Country. And some as well are truly here, which means over the coming months, many, many thousands of people will be coming to this region to enjoy country walking, which is, according to recent government figures, the nation's favourite leisure time activity. Not surprising, really, when you've got locations like this to go walking in. It could be said that walking purely for the pleasure of it was actually invented in the West Country. The poets Coleridge and Wordsworth lived on the Quantock Hills and they loved going for long walks just for fun, soaking up the atmosphere. They walked all the way from Netherstowey to Linton and Lynmouth. Another man who loved walking was Bishop James Hannington. At one time he was the rector in the local parish here and he had many of these coastal paths cut into the hillsides. He even brought in Swiss footpath engineers specially for the job. Keeping fit on the Devon coast did him no good at all. He moved to Africa, became a bishop and was promptly killed by the locals who didn't like Christianity. Now if there's one chap in this area who knows all about walks and walkers, it's Steve Proud, the local National Trust warden. Hey Steve. Hey Martin, how long, you doing? Long time no see. Thanks for meeting me out here. We're in what looks like a wilderness, but it gets pretty busy, doesn't it? There are lots of walkers here. It, they are. This is a fantastic part of the coastline. Very, very popular. So how many a year? So in this valley, we have up to 60,000 people a year. 60,000 people in the middle of nowhere. That's a lot of people. Well, I suppose that means pressure on the footpaths. There is. We've just actually been carrying out some, some repair work recently. We have to maintain for the steps, for revetment. Uh, and also for drainage as well. So I'm doing the walk along the carriageway and then going back along the coast past to Woody Bay. That's a popular walk, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fantastic walk. Uh, very popular walk because we've got car parks at both ends. As, as you find out, you've got the pub and uh, shop for ice creams at the halfway point. So lots of people enjoy it. I, do, I think I'll go to the pub right now. I'll, I'll see, see you later. Later. Cheers. Cheers, Martin. I always think the perfect midway point of any walk is a pub. There's hardly anything in the Hedden Valley but a pub. Now to finish the walk, we're going to stroll a mile down the valley to Hedden's Mouth and its dramatic beach. Now this beach was the scene of one of the most extraordinary events to happen on English soil in the Second World War. Believe it or not, Nazi submariners played football here. The reason was they would come here to the steep cliffs of Exmoor to fill up their water tanks. They had plenty of diesel, but no water. They used to run out. So here they'd come with their little rowing boats and fill up with water. One night they rolled up a shirt and played football right here. Now all I've got to do is cross the stepping stones, walk up the side of the river and up the big hill along the coast path back to Woody Bay. <laughs> 